Ms. Legalista here. Thank you for joining. We're going to be talking about these treasury checks that were stolen. The number that they're talking about is $40 million. But before I jump into this video and we break this down, I think a lot of people forget about checks coming to them through the mail because so many people use direct deposit now money from your employer coming right into your account. For those of you who have businesses and you're working with vendors or contractors, again, money coming electronically into your account. We probably remember hearing years ago about people stealing checks from mailboxes. That is less of an issue now because people have resorted to stealing Amazon packages from off of your steps. But apparently this is still an issue and it's a really big problem in this case because usually the people who are still receiving these checks especially treasury checks which are mentioned in this particular video are people who are getting things like tax refunds or social security benefits let's go ahead and jump into this and hear exactly what's going on in this case I want to talk about a major theft from a mail facility at JFK Airport. Two postal workers have now been arrested, and they're accused of stealing treasury checks, maybe worth even as much as $40 million. News Force Gus Rosendale joining us from the newsroom tonight with what else we've learned, Gus? Well, Natalie, detectives with the NYPD tell us they were initially tipped off by a bank that red flagged suspicious deposits, and they end up joining forces with federal authorities, and that joint effort led to arrests earlier today. Now, let me stop there. Tipped off by deposits. Now, I don't know about you, but at your bank, if you go in a lot or not, if you go in a lot, they may know who you are. They're used to seeing what you come in there for. They're used to the kinds of transactions that you make. When things start to look a little funny, they know that they have a responsibility to report that. So they're not just going to sit back and let you dilly dally and do whatever the craziness is you think you're going to do and get away with is not going to happen because the bank is going to flag it because they don't want to get caught up in your scheme. They have a duty to report and they are going to report. What you guys do? What happened? Tonight, these suspects are accused of conspiring to steal more than 100 checks worth millions of dollars from the JFK mail facility. We uncovered really a point of compromise, and that point of compromise was JFK uh, post office. Prosecutors believe it's the biggest theft at JFK since the famous Lufthansa heist in 1978, when about $6 million in cash and jewelry was stolen from the airport. United States Attorney for the Eastern District of New York, Breon Peace, said in a statement, criminals who cash in on checks stolen from the mail can expect to fill out change of address forms for the federal prison they will be calling home. Okay, that person had jokes. Now, this is not really funny, but that was actually pretty good. That was actually a pretty good one. But this is not funny. This is a very serious case here. They're talking about quite a bit of money. And we already talked about who this money was supposed to be for. Two of the defendants, prosecutors say, worked for the Postal Service. Three others are charged with endorsing and depositing what investigators describe as stolen checks issued by the U.S. Treasury, mainly heading to international destinations. These are checks that people are waiting for. These are checks that people are waiting for their livelihood. New at six, we've learned that included Social Security benefits, COVID stimulus checks and tax refunds. Indictments charge at least $4 million was stolen. However, NYPD detectives think a lot more was taken. When we look at ledgers that have been recovered and phone records and the like, we, we, uh, our, our investigative theory is that over $40 million has been fraudulently either obtained or affected. So it's a big number. A team. Of four, okay, now notice at the bottom of the screen there, they're saying $4 million but it's actually something like 40 million. What typically happens is they go with the number in the indictment that they know that they can prove. Like we've already got this amount here showing up in the ledgers, we're really clear about, we can track this through the phone records, we can track this through the deposits. We see that they have a network. Remember they talked about international. This is an international thing and they're following all of this. So yeah, this is, this is a big deal here. Four million is what they're putting in the charges. 
but they suspect as much as $40 million. A team of local and federal law enforcement has been working on the case for the past year and a half. These are individuals working at the post office that we entrust. We give really a sacred trust to, right? You know, so, you know to deliver everything with integrity. What can you do? What can I mean, what can you really do if you're a person who is still receiving, still receiving checks via the mail? One of the things you want to do is to stay on top of when it's supposed to be coming. If you know you're supposed to be getting a tax refund back and it has to come via check and can't be directly deposited, then stay on top of that. If your social security benefits if you've missed checks, go ahead and report that. You need to report these things as soon as possible, as soon as you feel like there is something wrong going on. But all of us are at risk now. The scams and the frauds, they are everywhere. And as you can see, the people in this video, the law enforcement team who's going after them, they were not happy that these postal workers had done that. Because like he said, postal workers are generally those people that you trust. Like, I see my postman every time he comes, you know, we, we do cards at Christmas. Although I think I forgot to give him a card last year. All right. Um, thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.